hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on elastic search so this is the part two of elastic search tutorial for beginners so we started uh, the last uh, tutorial or the part one of this uh, series of tutorial uh, with the basics on what is elastic search and you know how to install elastic search on CentOS so this tutorial I'm going to talk about more about the concept on what is elastic stack how the architecture of elastic stack will be how the architecture of elastic search will be what are the key components in elastic search and uh, how the uh, data transfer will happen okay so that's what I'm going to do in this tutorial so this will be more of a concept okay so let's start with the basics uh, of what is elastic stack or it's also was called as ELK before okay. so you could have uh, seen you know some of this in the previous uh, tutorial I just given you a small uh, hint of this elastic stack components so if you see the elastic stack uh, comprise of uh, beats and uh, lock stash elastic search and Kibana right so these are the key four components of uh, elastic stack or ELK so uh, we uh, discussed about this in the previous tutorial just a shot so the base components or the bottom components will be log stacks and the bits which will be collecting the logs or the you know, data to be sent into elastic search so on top of log stacks and bits you will have elastic search which will be doing the collection or storing of the data and also the query right and you'll have a Kibana on top of it, which will be a visualization software. So, uh, something which I have not discussed is like that does not uh, comprise ELK or Elastic Stack can be more as well. So there are other components like uh, add-ons or called XPack, which can add more features into this uh, Elastic Stack. So this XPack we use like security, alerting, monitoring, reporting, and uh, graph. But this is more of uh, more of these features are paid uh, features. So some of them are free, but most of them are paid features. So it depends upon how you want to make use of it. Okay, and there is also like Elastic Cloud, which you can also comes part of Elastic Stack. Okay, so let's uh, get into a little bit more deeper on this. So let's see the how the Elastic Stack architecture works. Okay, so the beats, as I said, that's the initial component uh, where if you ask me what is beats so beats uh, is as essentially uh, you know a agent or lightweight uh, agent that acquire data and then feeds into elasticsearch so the basic purpose of uh, beats is it's collect the data and uh, send to uh, elasticsearch so uh, if you see beats it have different components like file beat winlog beat heartbeat metric beat packet beat audit beat so let's see what is this so file bit is basically uh, designed to read files from your system and uh, send it to Elasticsearch. So if you want to, um, you know, send some log files uh, like system log or wall log, then the file bits is the one which we are going to use and that will be configured to send it to Elasticsearch. Now, if you see metric bits, um, that is used to collect metrics from a server or system that basically more of services and those kind of thing will be collected through uh, met uh, metrics bits and um, uh, there is something called packet bit so as the name itself you may uh, understood that packets are mostly related to network packets and so this is more of to analyze the network packet monitor network protocols so that is the purpose of that and there is uh, so another one called winlog bit so it's a tool specifically defined uh, or designed to provide live streams of windows event logs so event logs from windows servers and all those things can be monitored or sent to Elasticsearch or some other place too using uh, Windows WinLog bit. Okay. And there is another component of bits called audit bit. This is specifically defined designed for Linux platform for monitoring the users and process activity in the Linux platform. And the last one is the hard bit, which is also a lightweight shipper for uptime monitoring. So that's the key components of bits. So what we will uh, see is like usually in a ELK stack, you will have bits configured to collect this uh, data, okay? And then, you know, this uh, data will be sent to log stash, okay? So log stash, uh, if you ask what log stash is, it's a open source data collection engine with uh, real-time uh, pipeline capabilities. 
So what does means like Logstacks collects this data from various inputs uh, sources. It doesn't mean like beats alone. It can be a different other sources as well. And it's execute uh, different transformation and enhancements and then ships this data into various uh, supported output destinations. So in our case, the output will be Elasticsearch. So we'll be sending the data from uh, you know, the transformed or uh, uh, enhanced data from Logstash to Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch, you know, it can be a single node Elasticsearch or it can be a cluster as well. So as per the picture, you can see it can have master node, different other nodes as well, which we'll discuss in the upcoming slides. Okay. So in an elastic search, yes, we will collect this data. Then we will uh, use elastic search for querying and everything, right? So how these queries work, how the data will store in elastic search, I uh, will discuss in the upcoming slides. Okay. So uh, after elastic search, we have uh, other component called Kibana, uh, which is a visualization uh, software or tool where we'll be using this Kibana to visualize all the component. So in uh, simple terms, you can say uh, Beats is a data collection uh, part, okay, and Logstash will be doing uh, data processing, okay, and we'll have a data storage in search in Elasticsearch, and the end we'll have a visualization. So this will be the overall ELK or Elastic Stack architecture, uh, which you know will be looking into the upcoming uh, tutorials. We'll be setting up each part one by one, and we'll have at the end of this whole uh, tutorial, we'll have all these things. Uh, connected to there and we'll have the whole outcome okay so now we are more talking on the elastic search part we have set up all the elastic search in our previous tutorial and uh, we'll see in the upcoming uh, parts one by one okay now uh, before i get into the more in-depth of uh, elastic search components i would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button like this video share and comment okay so now let's move on to, uh, uh, before, you know, uh, to the other topics. So I would also request like, you know, you haven't liked this video, share, uh, you, know, you just do that uh, to your friends or colleagues and provide your comment in the comment section. Now let's talk about Elasticsearch uh, architecture. Okay. So previously what we have seen is more of ELK uh, you know, components. Now let's talk about specifically for Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch, you know, you can have a cluster of Elastic uh, you know, components. So it can be a cluster or it can be a single node as well. So in a cluster Elasticsearch component, you'll have a Elasticsearch node. So you, for example, you have node one, node two, uh, and it can be a number of uh, node as well. Okay. So I have put, just put uh, three nodes. It can be more than uh, uh, three nodes and number of nodes. So uh, the benefit is like uh, in, in Elasticsearch, there is no limitation like in Elasticsearch has to be run on single machines. So because of this, you can easily uh, scale up your system to handle higher traffic and a larger data set. So when you say about a uh, node means it's a single uh, Elasticsearch installation inst instance. For example, you have set up uh, one uh, Elasticsearch machine, that's a single node. If you add more machines into this, it can be another node and then you combine all together uh, use, using a clustering method, then it will become an Elasticsearch cluster. So first one will become as a master and others will be uh, other uh, nodes. Okay. So uh, let's a uh, little bit more big now, just we spoke about only cluster and also the nodes. So there are more into the Elasticsearch architecture. So let's have a view overview on that. Okay. So uh, as we see in like, you know, Elasticsearch cluster, you can have a uh, multiple nodes of Elasticsearch uh, installation. Okay, so you have a few nodes and each node can have uh, indexes or indices. Okay, so you can see node one can have index Okay, and node uh, two. So I'm just trying to give a pictorial repre representation. So we'll talk about what is index, uh, what is uh, node, what is cluster as well in the upcoming slide i just want to give a picture or presentation first how the architecture will look like and and the, each index will have documents so again i said uh, documents what is documents we will talk uh, in the upcoming slide okay so uh, if you see like uh, there's a cluster of uh, elastic search and each cluster will have uh, nodes which is a uh, elastic search installation and in each Elasticsearch node, you'll have indexes, okay? And indexes will have documents. And this uh, index is actually can be split into something called shard, okay? 
So it can be shard A, B, C, and these uh, shards are basically primary shards or replication sh shards. Okay. So that's how the overall architecture of uh, Elasticsearch will be. Now let's talk about e each of these components. So in the key components, what we have seen as part of the previous slide is like we have something called cluster, we have something called node, right? And we have index, we have documents, and we have also shard, right? Now let's uh, uh, talk about each component. So what is a cluster? So as I said, the cluster is a collection of nodes which uh, together holds the data and providing uh, the indexing and search capability. Okay, so cluster is a collection of nodes. Okay, and on uh, you know, this nodes is what which holds the data and provide the indexing and search capability because the node is a uh, elastic search component, right? So what is a node? Simple term, elastic uh, in instance. So a node is a elastic search instance. So you have a elastic search install in one of a server that is a node. Okay. So a uh, collection of elastic search instance is a cluster worse because that is where you'll be doing the data storing and also doing the indexing and searching. Now, oh, what is the index? Because each node will have a different index, right? So in uh, simple terms, index is a collection of documents and uh, which have a similar characteristics like uh, customer data, product catalog, uh, etc. Okay. So the benefit is very useful while performing index like search, update, deletion operation. Uh, this allows you to define many index in one single cluster. Okay. So in single cluster, you know, you, you will have uh, multiple indexes. So on the index only, you will have the documents where you'll be doing the search, update, deletion operations. So what is a document? So in simple uh, term, document is the basic unit of information which can be indexed. So you can say document is a JSON format. So if you have a key value pair of uh, some content, uh, that is called a document, which will be stored in the uh, index. So each uh, document, the uh, thing is like it will be associated with the type and unique ID. So now let's talk about shard. Okay. So what do you mean by shard? Shards are individual instance of Lucene index because uh, Elasticsearch is based on Apache Lucene, which is the search uh, Thing. So uh, the basic uh, component is the using index, which is called a uh, shard, because every index what we spoke about in the node and cluster, which can be split into several shard. Okay, and the benefit of this because of that it can be distributed in the cluster. That is why you know you can have a clustered uh, distributed structure for Elasticsearch. So this uh, index uh, can be uh, shared across uh, multiple nodes. Okay. So you can see like each index is comp uh, comprised of shards across one or many nodes. Okay, So it doesn't mean like index has to be on the same nodes. The index is a collection of shards from multiple nodes. And these shards can be primary and replica shards. The primary is the base uh, component and it will be having replication shards as well. Okay, So I think uh, that's the main components of Elasticsearch like cluster, node, index, document shard so we shown like the architecture way how it look like okay so this uh, tutorial is basically the key terms which i wanted to explain uh, the key terminologies how these things works so in next tutorial what we will do is we will create uh, you know a content into the elastic search which we have uh, installed we will import some content into it we will see how the json format will be now then we will do some query to get an output from it they're using this key value pair and we will see how that works okay so that's all for this tutorial so i hope uh, this is informative for you and i want to thank you for watching so as again i will ask you like if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed uh, click on the subscribe button like this video give you a comment and uh, uh, share this with your uh, colleagues and friends